area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous Good motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster With all you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Click and blam. Follow me on Instagram, Vodafly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and all the people that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. So, I'm gonna, we going. There's gonna be a couple of joints that's gonna come out today, but I think that I should start with none other than this Hitman situation. Versus the dude from jail. I'm gonna call him that respectfully. Byron Blake is his name, but um, you know, there's footage that came out of the guy getting jumped, stomped, beat up, Peter rolled, and I want to talk about some different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. So I, while I'm not gonna put that footage on my channel, it's out there. If you want to look for it, you can find it. But they battled before. Like, that's a crazy, like, the, this crazy, so crazy that these dudes battled before. What's a dude to go to jail? It doesn't matter because this decision was done in the neck. See, this is a handicap match. Don't matter the stipulations. I feel like the electric company. All you did was pay me to shed light on your situation. <laughs> You know, dude from jail comes out, they put up money, they had a battle, the battle's online, did two million views, etc. etc. So Hitman got jumped a couple years ago, allegedly by this dude and some of his crew. And the dude was basically clout chasing. Like this is what he was basically clout chasing. He would basically get in front of any single any camera, any interview on YouTube, on social media, and he would just basically troll Hitman. He said Hitman got jumped. He basically was just going in on Hitman, right? And while this was happening, you know, Hitman's blowing up. He's doing his thing. He's becoming a star. He's one of the biggest names in battle rap, one of the biggest brands in battle rap, right? He has a battle with Calico, and this dude shows up to the battle. You done lost your privilege of getting any money, man, until you show me where that man is at. Until you find that man, you dead up here, man. You dead, man. Go find that man, B. Go find him, B. Unless you like being broke, nigga. Go this way, man. Hey, my man, go this way, man. Go this he showed up. He was there at the gas station. I don't know what somebody do is at the gas station that didn't even have cars, but there was like a thousand people at the gas station. I guess this is a thing in Atlanta. Yo, what's up? I don't know what's going on. Yo, yo what's, up, what's up, what's up? Chef, what up, baby? Yeah. What's the deal? Shot out in the motherfucking building. You know? Cali G in the motherfucking building. Yeah, I'm ready to eat, man. Byron Blake in the motherfucking building. Yeah. They all was chilling at the gas station. So while they're chilling at the gas station, Calico, you know, he puts up his um Insta snaps, you know, little stories. So Byron Blake is in the building. Showed up, showed him on the camera. You know, he throws up his little gang signs, whatever the case may be. He showed up there. Next thing you know, Hitman and his squadron, the Black Squad, showed up 
like 30 deep. Peter rolled this dude, stomped him out, pulverized, pulverized him, and left him on the ground. Now, there's so many different variables. So the dude went live. Like you would have thought that after something like this would have happened, you would have thought he would have been beat so badly that, you know, he would have been able to walk, he wouldn't have been able to talk. But in an abundant level of unmitigated niggatry, this coon got up off the ground and managed to go live on IG. If I go, if I go hire a motherfucker to put in some work for me, they better really put in some work. <laughs> right or wrong, no fool. Yeah, I niggas better put in some real work. You and you, uh, and, and man, you know, we ain't gonna do all that though. What's up though? I just wanted y'all to see me. See, I'm good. This shit live. This ain't no motherfucking made up shit. This live right now. I got all my teeth. I'm out here moving around. You know? That shit ain't nothing, man. I, you know how many motherfucking fights I've been in? You know how many times I've been in that situation? You know how many times I've been in that situation, man? I've been in that situation more times than I can tell y'all. Of course. You know, the video, the video, the video that y'all see, by the time y'all, by the time y'all getting that part, they had already surrounded me and shit. They had already surrounded me and shit by the time y'all, the, vid the video y'all see. Yeah, by the time y'all see that, it was already. But trust me, before that, I hit about six of them niggas in their mouth. Believe that. Calico, what Calico? Calico don't got nothing to do with this shit. What you asking me where he was at for? He don't got nothing to do with this shit. Nah, nigga don't want no nigga, nigga know they ain't got no wind coming with me with no fair one. You would think a nigga want they fair one because of the shit that been being taught. You would think a nigga. You would think a nigga would've came and been like, shit, let me let me get that one on one. My screen broke on my phone, so my phone fucking up. You would think a nigga be like, let me get that one on one. Nigga came, how you know he gotta come? Bring your squad. Man, that jumping shit, that jumping shit don't mean nothing. <coughs> Y'all see me, y'all see me out here. I'm straight, I'm good, we out in traffic. You know what I'm saying? Like My point of going to the battle is I can go where I wanna go. I can do whatever I want to do. Wherever I want to go. Oh, you know, hard body for sure. They ain't, they ain't do nothing but just show the world I'm hard body. That's all. Y'all just showed the world I'm hard body. You need 20 niggas. You need 20 niggas. I should have got popped. That's what should have happened. To talk about his debacle. Now, I don't really respect the jumping game. 20 people jumping one person. Like, that ain't really the thing to do. But, you know, when you're dealing with somebody that's in a position like a hitman holler, 
He's going to roll with 15, 20 people and everybody wants to, everybody's going to be as loyal as they can be to the food, to the person that's helping them eat, the person that's putting them on, the person that's getting them into these venues. That's like, they rolling with that. That's their brother, their man, their dog, somebody that they roll with. I have so many questions. And the reason why I'm even talking about this, these two battled before, you know what I'm saying? And they had, and this is in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? It's stupid, it's coonery, it shouldn't have happened, but the dude, he worked hard for his ass whooping. He worked hard for it. Like, he went out of his way. It's not like this was like some something that was unwarranted. Like, the way he was talking, he even said in his post-game interview that he should have got popped. I don't understand where, what, how your mind is working or your train of thoughts, but... You playing with people who not playing with you. And when it, you, like I said earlier, you could choose your bullshit, but you cannot choose the response. There's a guy, right, named Indian Boy Red. Red, well, he's dead now. He was running around in Cali defacing Nipsey Hustle murals. Defacing, spray painting all over them, writing all this gang, gang, gang stuff, posing in front of them and putting it on the internet for the world to see. Now, I, I can't think of a level of the epitome of stupidity that this dude went to to guess prove himself to somebody who's a dead legend already. Went out of his way to deface Nipsey's murals, to try to deface his legacy, gang, 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 and throw it up on camera. Man was shot 12 times in his car on the same internet that he used to dis Nipsey Hussle. The same IG live, the same Instagram that they used to disrespect this man. The man was shot 12 times and killed on IG live. I'm not posting that video either. You know what I'm saying? Like we could talk about it because y'all always want to say battle rappers like sports, battle rappers like the NBA and all this other stuff. If LeBron James, if LeBron James was to go out with his crew and 15 people were to stomp out a person that was trolling LeBron James, it would be over every single network. ESPN, uh, Fox Sports, it'd be everywhere. So I keep the same energy. While I will say, I'm not posting the footage, it's online. You can see it if you want to see it. Most of the people that tune into this content, I would feel like are fans of what we do. They appreciate the level of, uh, you know, consistency that we've had over the years myself showtime sp and the fam so so i i will talk about it but i am gonna laugh because you what were you doing in atlanta and then he said in his joint that i was there because i can go wherever i want you are right you can go wherever you want but you cannot prevent what happens when you get there did you think i don't know if you thought that you was see because like, I've seen people like Byron Blake before. So what the thing is, he was going to go there. He was going to talk his shit. He was going to let the world know he was there. And he was going to let the world know that nothing happened to him. I pulled up. I was there. Y'all niggas ain't do nothing to me. I was 30 deep. Nothing happened to me. That was what was going to happen. But it didn't. The opposite happened. And the battle rap shit, it's all bait. Like, niggas thrive on, like Chef Tress said in his tweet, a lot of niggas thrive off negativity. So you can't thrive off negativity and then when it happens, we're like, oh, no, no. Like I said, while I don't respect the whole jumping thing, Hitman said he got jumped and he actually responded to the uh, abundant level of unmitigated niggatry that went on that night. He said, what did he say? Someone said, I mess with you heavy, but you should have ran that man a fade. That jumping shit is whack. Hitman said, what about when 10 of his niggas jumped me? It was all good then. Nobody gave me a pity party. Nobody campaigned for my fair one, right? This is like, so like I said, we won't go and fish for the story. The story makes itself. Dude responded. He had his five minutes of, of, of his talking about him getting jumped. And he seemed happy. The dude, he seemed happy about it. The niggas seemed happy about getting jumped. That's why I said, once I saw that, I was like, oh, he, not, he left without a scratch on him. That's the funny thing. 20 dudes jumped him and he left without a scratch on him. The nigga jumped right on camera and was happy. It seemed like he was happy to get jumped. It was like he got jumped by his hero. Like he was happy this happened to him. I don't know if that's the case, but it seems stupid. Basically, at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, 
Hey man, you're in a privileged position. You got a the nice $195,000 truck that you was rapping about off the showroom floor. Had to pick him off a showroom floor. Don't throw that shit away. Don't throw your opportunity away for some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? The nigga got jumped. He jumped you, jump for jump, go on with your life. But other than that, yo, this shit was crazy. He was happy to get, it seemed like he was happy to get jumped. I swear to God, I'm out of here. Y'all niggas stay up. Yeah. The streets ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in the streets. Rest in peace, King Nib, stay dangerous Cause motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster With all that internet beefing, how you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes, you do it for likes Go viral to get killed later on that night It's shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype For them views, you really just paid with your life All the real killers I know, they don't be online And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie I ride around me and Hamela and 